Oh. Should be fun. Oh. This is a serious cutscene. I don't want to experience it as a Deku. <laughs> this is a fun mini boss fight. And this is kind of like a. And he makes such a weird noise. It's like a. Like a demented, like, church bell. Okay. Now, speaking of church bells. Okay, this is off to a great start. That's such a weird sound. Anyway, this is the... Garrow Master, you can't find him just like an ordinary Garrow. He doesn't like look, remind me so much of like a ghost. He just reminds me of kind of like a weird like luchador or something, but just like without a face, like with that weird like, I don't know. Anyway, I like the fact that we get, get to kind of fight in that early evening. It's kind of dramatic. Great. Okay. Too slow, man. And he has fire swords, so that's why he's doing so much damage. Okay. To think I could be defeated. Although my rival, you were spectacular. I shall take my bow by opening my heart and revealing my wisdom. If you shoot that which releases the sacred golden light into the blood-stained red emblem outside the temple, it shall rearrange things in which the earth is born in the heavens and the moon is born on the earth. Do not forget these words. Die I shall, leaving no corpse. That is the law of Oscaro. I love that. This game has such great dramatic moments. The moon bo what? What? <laughs> I love that. This game is so dramatic. Okay, so Oh. Well, I was about to say, okay. Again, like I can't look at my TV screen. I have to look at the computer because I'm using a splitter, which I guess by the nature of the splitter cable makes the TV uh, a little bit darker. And, uh, 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 is this a thing? Am I actually supposed to, hang on. I can't, oh, okay. So not in that room. Uh, there's there's like a place where they actually want us to use this for the first time, but I, I I I'm not sure if they just want us to leave the like go to the very beginning of the temple right away yet. Okay, there's a fairy so. I probably want to be collecting these fairies. Uh, is there a hook, hook shot up there? Um, okay. Ah, uh, this is. Come on, computer, I need to... I love this normally, like, this whole, like, atmosphere with the night and everything. Aha! Is that the first time we've seen those masked enemies? 
It might be the masked version of them. Oh, here we go. I guess we're supposed to be doing this now. I'm honestly... I'm honestly just kind of following my gut. Okay, so, awake. It's an Igor. Simply attacking it is no good. I say you should pay attention to the subtle changes in its eye. Okay. Its eye is blue, its eye is yellow when it attacks. So I have to defend myself. Okay. So I guess if I stand out of to the side uh, slightly, it's not really a mid boss. It's like a weird like special enemy. I don't know. Okay, so this would be for a key then, right? So I guess that's the first time you use the light arrows. I don't know. I'm just kind of trying to okay that's an enemy that only exists for a stray fairy this lo this temple is like too deep with the stray fairies i don't know it just it's just too deep with the stray fairies okay so now we can do this what okay it all makes sense in a set oh i still haven't done Oh, I... See... Okay, hold on. This structure al always looks like a kind of weird, like, dinosaur cow with, like, two eyes. And then I always forget that that's actually, like, a switch that you can shoot because I just think, oh, yeah, it's an eye. It also does have, like... This structure does have subtle, like, mammary implications. And that, like, that goes together with this whole theory that, like, the stone tower is, like, a, a sexual insult to the goddesses. Which is, I don't know. It's very, it's very deep. This temple is very deep. And that's kind of one of the reasons I like it. It's also, like, spawned, like, these great... Mario six like levels in Mario sixty four ROM hacks where like the entire level turns upside down and like those levels are always so cool to watch but they're actually so hard because like the upside down level will always have like these awful jump physics. Well, Super Mario sixty four ROM hacks just kind of have awful jump physics in general. Okay, so this part might be fast-forwarded a little bit, but... But yeah, the famous, like, level in Super Mario 74, or at least it's, like, famous to me, use, um... Luminosphere and Ombrusphere, so, like, light and shadow. Uh... I almost walked off a cliff. That wouldn't have been fun. Um... Actually... Take a shortcut here. Don't need to do... Yes, yes, yes. They use, like, a version of... I think both the Stone Tower and the Stone Tower inverted theme, although they're not super different, but they have, like, the weird sound effects. Um, they use, like, a, a Mario 64 sound font, like, version of the Stone Tower temple theme. And the version of the Stone Tower Temple theme that's in Super Mario 74 is is really derpy. It's like, ugh, why would you why would you do that? But it's it's also it's not that bad. I think I told this story already. Oh, my story is not as important as this. What? What? Okay, this is crazy. This is like amazing. You look down and it's like looking up. It's like, what? 
and the owl statue is like oh don't lie to me there's a place where we can see the owl statue beneath us so yeah the music is a little different when I when I was like pretty young I don't remember how young I had like don't ask me why it wasn't like rational or anything but I had like a, a f like this thought that I would have sometimes that I would be afraid of falling into the sky and I would have this like fascination like with standing like not standing on my head but just like tilting my head all the way around so that I could like stare into the sky and like sometimes I would think about what it would be like to fall into the sky so that's why this temple has Oh, that's pretty. The stars beneath us? That's just pretty. And that's why this temple is a little bit special to me. Because it has that kind of psychological thing. Maybe that's just me. Maybe there aren't, like, other kids who have that kind of, like, weird fear of falling into the sky. I have no idea how common that actually is, but... I mean, there must be something, like, psychologically behind it, like Chicken Little or anything. Anyway, I, th I think it's un important to, like, understand psychology, but I was never interested in, like, the monomyth or, like, Sigmund Freud or any of that, so I'll stop rambling about psychology. Do, 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 do. So basically, they just... It's it's all the same song, but they just, like, they flip around the instruments in certain sections. You might notice that I'm getting low on magic. Oh, and they have it end with a high instrument both times. You'd think in the, if in the original they have it end with a high instrument, in that in the inverted version they, it would have it end with a low mu instrument. Because they do the the thing in the beginning where they flip it from low to high so they would should they should flip it from high to low in the inverted version that's all i'm saying this room is really weird when it's inverted oh how high is this room good grief um i'm not exactly focused on what i'm doing i kind of have to pee but i want to see oh come on come on man Can I not? Okay. Okay. Good grief. This is not my favorite thing in the whole world, and I can't see where I'm going because I'm going backwards, of course. Um, but I figure I want to land and shoot that sun doohickey. Doohickey is great, a great word. Of course. Of course. Okay, can I land on a platform that isn't like way out in Saudi Arabia. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. I thought that would be funny. Racist jo No. Get out of my face. Looks like a weird like Roman carnival mask. I don't know. Hello, Mr. Creepy Sun smiling at me. I hope you have a I hope you have a... I hope you have. Okay. I'm gonna use the bathroom because this is just turning into chaos.